My name is Bob Perega from New Jersey. <clears throat> I'm going to spend a couple minutes talking about our partnership with MathTech. <clears throat> um, MathTech is our um, is uh, essentially plays two roles for us um, here in Jersey. Um, they represent project integration and process integration for us. And just to kind of set the context of where these two, um, you know, where these two roles play out. Uh, in New Jersey, we started um, a project several years ago um, called Matrix. Matrix is a, uh, an, an acronym for us. It's, it's, our, it's uh, our motor vehicle automated transaction system, and it represents our complete uh, system infrastructure overhaul. So with that context in mind, um, the, the project scope for that is, um, is, uh, is very grand. It covers uh, things such as driver's license overhaul, driver history, uh, titles and registrations, uh, business licensing, uh, third-party information sharing, um, customer, customer manager. So now we're moving to a more of a customer-centric type of system. It's a very, uh, it's a very large, grand-scale project uh, to be rolled out in, in many phases over several years. Um, enter MathTech. MathTech is, um, is our partner in crime on this. And basically what they do is they, they, um, they, uh, well, they do project integration and process integration. And they help not only with the, the technical pieces of this project, but also the soft pieces. Soft pieces meaning the, um, how a project integrates with the people. Um, how it changes the business process. What does a daily frontline worker have to do to go from old process to new process? Um, that's what MathTech does. They help us uh, bridge the gap. You know, when we speak of motor vehicle services, we're a very lean organization. Um, we're very efficient in how we produce the, the volume of transactions that we do. But when we enter into a system integration or an infrastructure overhaul, um, you know, th that's, that represents a piece of our business where it's difficult now to uh, essentially stop what you're doing and work on this project. And um, MathTech fills that void for us. They help us bridge that gap between operations and project. So that kind of sets the stage for, uh, for MathTech as a partnership for New Jersey. Um, in this case, we're going to talk about the first rollout, phase one of Matrix. And phase one of Matrix uh, deals with uh, something very specific. It's front counter document imaging solution. Um, now that's basically taking uh, all of our document requirements um, uh, for the state of New Jersey as, as a motor vehicle, um, as a motor vehicle space. One of our main objectives is to be the, um, is to be the custodian of record. And it's a big responsibility for any motor vehicle agency to maintain all of those records and to be able to retrieve them on the back end. Um, so phase one of Matrix is now taking the old business model and taking that into a digital age um, to, uh, to efficiently capture supporting documents at the front counter, um, which covers many aspects of, of uh, business requirements, audit requirements, and uh, in the future, real ID requirements as we will now need to uh, scan all source documents for identification purposes. Now here's a snapshot of the old process. And it's, it's fairly cumbersome, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's what we had. Um, if you look at the, uh, the top center there, you're looking at the process transaction. This is the front, the front end worker at our agencies taking documents, and then they will go back and copy paperwork and attach a cover sheet to this paperwork. So that's a manual process. Then they'll take it back to the customer, and then it enters into the back end of our system. That's where it gets boxed up. Paperwork gets transferred. Documents go to a central office. There they're received, and, um, and they're stored for uh, X period of time. Then they're reviewed, prepped, and scanned. And, uh, and then they're created in microfilm form. And then they're ready for retrieval after they're in microfilm form. And there's a certain period of time that that takes. It's just a natural progression. Um, now this is where I'm going to uh, hand the mic over to Steve Young, who's going to talk about the next phases of this. Now what's not included in this old process is the document retrieval end of it. 
Motor Vehicles is, is, is in the business of now providing this information uh, to be retrieved by lawyers and law enforcement for X number of reasons, and uh, that itself is a very uh, uh, cumbersome process. So, uh, Steve, I'm going to give you, give you the mic and you can uh, say what we do now. Good. Thanks, Bob. So, I'm going to move to the next slide after uh, Bob just reviewed what the current process is. And the next slide we want to show you is what the new process now looks like. Bob and I were looking at this this morning and Bob said, oh, that's the boring slide. And I suppose if you like process arrows and a lot of different steps, then this is definitely boring. But of course, it's boring in a good way, as Bob said. So um, what we've done is we've put high-speed scanners at every counter location where customers are being served. And that happens across 40 agencies uh, that are located within New Jersey. And uh, those scanners, they can do about 30 pages per minute. Um, every counter has one. And through the course of processing the transaction on the main computer system, the, uh, the staff person will use the scanner to scan the appropriate documents. There's still a cover sheet that goes with it. And as that cover sheet goes through the scanner, it identifies the transaction and the, uh, uh, and the customer so that when those documents are a substantial delay in days, if not weeks, before those documents made it through the process and were able to then be retrieved. But then they were only retrievable via microfilm. Now they're retrievable electronically, and they're retrievable through many locations throughout uh, motor vehicles uh, throughout the state, not just by the department that has the racks of microfilm. Um, we've got those high-speed scanners right now. We put documents in the top. They feed through. They feed through very quickly. There's a process where, as every document is scanned, every uh, face of the scanned pages comes up. The operator has to review each page to ensure that it was scanned correctly and is legible. And part of that is because the microfilm has always been used for long-term archiving. And, uh, and that was always deemed by the state's archiving standards as the best way to archive them. Um, but if you go through a process and get your system certified and you include the process steps to review each scanned page as it's being completed, then you can get your digital system certified for long-term archiving also, which of course was the goal here to remove the micro, uh, to remove the microfilming. What was the impact on staff with, with the devices and scanning an uh, upfront document? Well, I, I think we had a lot of reactions from staff. Um, despite all your best efforts to train, um, some staff looked at it and didn't even flinch. Some staff were, um, you know, more hesitant to take it on and were convinced that it was going to be a, a very substantial burden to, uh, to the process. Um, one of the things that we did was made sure that we trained champions in each agency so that um, there was someone there to be a positive voice and say, we can do this, it can get done, and you can see your peers are all doing it and you know, eventually you work through those things. So a combination of training, a, a combination of communications uh, gets you through that. But I think probably everyone's aware that there's such a, a wide range of uh, computer literate skills uh, in the field, you're going to have a number of uh, reactions. There's a question in the back. So, you know, we're still in phase one of this project, and phase two and phase three are going to release more and more functionality. But, you know, one of the interesting observations that we had so far was that, you know, you can imagine you're, um, you're, the, you're the agent, you're typing on the computer system, you're filling out a, uh, a registration transaction. And what we saw pretty quickly was that those who were getting it would come over to the scanner, put the documents in, hit the button, and as those documents were scanning, because that's, you know, that's 20, 30 seconds while those documents feed through the scanner, while that was happening, they would go back to the screen and finish their transaction. So at this point in time, we have not seen anything substantial in terms of changes in transaction time, certainly changes in overall wait time, um, and that's, you know, it was, certainly was a concern throughout the project, we yeah, tried that was to the biggest concern yeah. is, is what its impact was on customer wait time. But we've seen that it's, it was um, not necessarily absorbed, but um, that effort was, uh, was, was worked in tandem with 
with other effort, like I can scan a document and at the same time talk to my customer. And uh, so it really was a net zero as far as the, um, the impact.